Okay, so today we check out an under the radar epic pistol called the Dead Chamber. Now you guys know me, I don't bring you weapon guide videos for weapons which ain't unique in some way. This though is unique in many ways and somehow I haven't heard of it before. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. So the dead chamber I actually come across by accident. What happened was I went to try and get the link pistol as it recently received a buff. I quickly realised I hadn't previously done the side quest in which allows you to farm the anointed alpha who drops the link. The side quest for this is called the Malevolent Practice, in which you originally pick up from Sir Hemelock in Floodmore Basin or within the Sanctuary depending on story progression. Objective to this side mission quest you can see on screen now. So this Dead Chamber Jacob's Pistol, well actually guys, is amazing. Amazing in more than a few ways too. So firstly on paper I'd say it's on par with the Lucky 7 in terms of damage and so forth. That's probably the closest Jacob's Pistol to compare this to going off base stats. Which isn't a bad thing at all. And like the Lucky 7, luck comes into play on reload with this weapon also. As on reload you get a 50% chance to buff the weapon. What this buff does is gives you between 100-200% to damage bonus on that buff clip and it also gives you a massive accuracy buff reducing the size of the reticle drastically. Now the damage buff I say is between 100 and 200 is because it seems to kind of differ. Sometimes it seems about 120%, sometimes it seems to be about 170% and I am taking into account what I'm using in terms of class mod and artifact too. The damage output it seems while the weapon is buffed can't seem to make its mind up on a precise number. Now on that buff clip the damage seems to be on par with the Maggie but the thing about this is it's much easier to hit those shots due to the accuracy buff too. So the damage this thing can do is just one amazing thing about it. Another amazing thing about this weapon is in fact it has the same sights as the Maggie which for a lot of people is amazing. Another great thing for me upon testing it's buff shots seem to penetrate certain shields. This could be an in game glitch or a bug I ain't sure but it was definitely doing it for me. Now we ain't finished with the amazing things this offers. It also as you've probably noticed by the gameplay in the background now has the best reload animation in the game. Check this out. How cool is that? Now thinking about this, it's a weapon which you come across early on in the game, well not early on but it's about midway through the game story and to be honest not thinking at the time of first seeing it, thinking about it or thinking it could be a great weapon. Considering you'd probably at the time of first seeing this be aware of many legendaries to hunt for. So this could have easily been forgotten about, which I think many people did. I could have done the same too on my other Zane who I originally ran the story with and just completely forgot about this weapon. I'm not sure. But like I have said and covered many times in the past, some of the epic weapons are seriously overlooked and a lot of the time are better than those legendary counterparts. Now personally I wouldn't say this is a better pistol than the Maggie as the Maggie is just basically this without the accuracy and that amazing reload animation but with 100% of the damage 100% of the time. But what I would say for certain guys it's a better overall weapon than the Lucky 7 as it's just miles more efficient in what it does and what it offers and also how it works. The Lucky 7 when you pop all 5 perks is incredible, the damage output of that thing is just ridiculous. But getting said perks it's, it's just rare now. I do believe they've actually nerfed the Lucky 7 in terms of how often these uh, perks drop on a reload. Because when I initially tested it way back when, it was quite decent. Adding the lock artifact, it seemed to improve it. But now using it, I rarely see those amazing perks, especially the Lucky 7 perk. So yeah, I'd definitely say at the moment, the Dead Chamber is a better weapon to use than the Lucky 7. But that's just my opinion. So yeah guys, the Dead Chamber is definitely an overlooked epic pistol, which is 100% one for the collection, if anything else. That reload animation alone is worth that small mission to get this. Now if you've already done said mission and it isn't within your menu, the only other way of getting this people is on an alt character. It means farming this thing, unless you play around on PC with your save files, it's pretty difficult as it's a one time drop per character. Now would I say it's worth starting a whole new character just to get this? I'd probably say no, but that's just depending on the time you got to offer. I mean sooner or later we're probably all going to be in quarantine anyway, so yes, 
If you do run another character, don't forget about this. If you've got all characters and you haven't done all side missions, check them to see if the side mission of Malevolent Practice is there. Select it and get on with it, people. Now, the one I had hasn't got the best anointment on it. I obviously, being a Zayn man, I mean, I don't mind this. It's okay. But I do have to completely change my build around to make the most of this anointment. I much prefer, while Sentinel is active, getting that Cryo damage. If you have that on this, people, you know where to hit me up. Xbox or my discord linked within the video description but yeah guys the dead chamber is definitely a weapon I feel you should at least check out but on that note we have come to the end if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one